Hi, everybody. Thank you for watching, and we want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. We appreciate each and every one of you, and we hope your holiday is blessed and filled with joy. We appreciate all of you and hope you guys have a great holiday season. There won't be a podcast this week because of the holidays, but we'll be back next weekend with a podcast, and I think it's going to be a fun one. So let's see what Heath has been dying to show you all. Welcome back to Hard Working Man. It's another IBC tote video, but this one's different. This is with the loose thrown wood. Why stack your wood when you don't have to? We just added the Dyna processor. We're gonna be filling these totes with the conveyor. When you fill them with the conveyor, cutting out the whole front end doesn't work, or does it? My mind never stops going, and I came up with an idea that I think is gonna work for loose thrown totes. It also works for people that pull the wood out of the totes for burning at home. I was watching sign with Sandy the other day and he was showing his firewood process. He doesn't stack his wood anymore. He has an elevated work platform and his Easton Made Ultra just drops the wood loose thrown into a tote. Then when he needs wood he brings one up to the house and he pulls the wood out to burn like we do here when we pull these totes to the back. Well once you get down to where you can't reach over anymore you have to fish your arms through these holes to get the wood out and then once it gets even lower you tip the toad over so you can get the wood. That's a pain. There has to be a better way, and I think I came up with it. Now, I know I'm not the only one who does this. With my new plan and new idea to try, I needed to run to the farm store and grab a couple of things. So I walk in, and I see the shopping carts. Nope, don't need one. I need three things. A few minutes later, I'm finding clearance sales, I'm finding deals, I grab a bucket. I start filling the bucket. I don't need the bucket, but I'm using it to haul my stuff. Finally, the bucket gets heavy, and I'm like, Rachel, just grab me a cart. So, this is what a shopping trip looks like when you go to grab three things and you're the hardworking man. I know I'm not the only one. There's no way that other people don't do this. This is what a shopping trip for three things looks like. When you're finding deals, you gotta get it. Like, who doesn't need this stuff, right? Who could go home without all of this? So, I needed to go spend 10, $15 on three things and I spent 150, but I got this stuff. We got toe straps, we got hooks, we got clevis pins, we got things I didn't know existed. This breakaway thing, like all of this. But anyway, I'm gonna show you the plan. I'm gonna show you why I bought this stuff. Not to mention these lights that I love. I have them in the garage. They're 30 bucks. They were $12. How can you not buy another one or two? So anyways, I'm going to show you how I do this tote, why it works for dumping, hand unloading everything, and why it might be the best idea yet. John from Frickin' Jeep and I had a similar idea. Cutting this out, attaching hinges so you could hinge this gate open. That's a pain. The hinges are going to break. It's not going to work that good. But I came up with something else. Let me show you guys what I got. Here we are, it's actually Christmas. I ran up front to get some tools to modify this tote and the guy was here to finish the install on our outdoor wood burner. It's been hooked up for a couple days now and that thing's awesome. I've been just throwing all my scraps in there. The house is so hot, we have to keep opening doors and windows because it gets the temperature. It's been overly warm. It's Christmas day and I could be out here in a t-shirt. But just the radiant heat coming through the furnace without it even on is keeping the house warm enough that we're cracking slider doors. The hot water is awesome. We're going to bring you more on that outdoor wood burner soon, how it's hooked up, you know, just everything about it. But let's get back to these totes. Dumping these is a pain. Adam from Hometown Acres the other day was trying to dump them, broke his strap. He was going back to just setting them down, flipping them like I did in that one short. And that works okay, but if you could dump these totes like you do the stack totes with the whole front cut out, that would be the way to do it. So all the different ways, whether you put hinges on, too much work, too much of a pain, the hinges are going to break. I thought about taking some steel cable and making hinges out of the steel cable, but then opening this, it's just going to be too flimsy, too floppy. I think it's going to be a pain. Thinking about it all wrong that whole time, we're not going to open it sideways. We're gonna open it up. This is gonna be the Lamborghini of firewood totes with the fly up doors. All I'm gonna do is, there's already holes in these rods, so I'm gonna cut here, cut here, drill a hole through above each of them, and take this steel cable that I got on clearance at the farm store, run this through and make loops. That way it'll hold it. We'll then cut the entire toad out, and you can just flip this up on top of itself, easy access, dump the wood into a dump trailer, whatever it is you need to do. Then, when the tote's empty, you'll flip it back down. I bought these cleats, like boat cleats. 
We're going to hook these on the side. A little bit of paracord. This stuff will hold like 700 pounds. Tie it here, whip it around that cleat, and now your tote's back to where you can just loose throw, dump everything in. So let's get this thing modified. See how much wood falls out when we open it up and see how this is going to work. I think it's going to be sweet. When you cut these out, you're going to want to stay up top. If you get down too low, you're going to cut through your hole. So I'm going to try to angle it up just a little bit. Before I completely remove this tote, I'll get this drilled and get the cable through and then I'll finish cutting everything else out. Now I'm going to drill through here so we have a way to run that cable. If we just went all the way around this, I think it would just slide too much side to side. Having a hole up here and this hole here, it'll keep it pretty much centered where we need it. At least that's the thoughts. Now with this, I had thought about using this safety wire that I use, but it's going to break eventually. So I picked up the steel cable and these swaging, swages, I'm not sure how you say that. They make a tool for this, but I couldn't find one. So I ordered one off Amazon, but for now I'm just going to crush them down with the bolt cutters just to show that this works, or if this works. So you're just going to feed it through here. Actually, I'm going to come through like this because I want my my uh, connector on the back there so you're going to come through that hole back through here this is where your hinge is going to be for your ibc tote all right now i'm going to get some pliers and tighten this up i bought thinner cable this is too thick it's a little harder to work with but i ordered the tool off amazon that comes with all these connectors and the thinner cable so i'll be able to make these a lot easier i'm going to try to leave just guess at about how much i need here so that I can hinge this, but so when I cut everything, it's not too loose. Because if you make this too tight, it's going to bind when it flips around. So we'll see if about like that works. So I'm just going to crimp this with a bolt cutters because I don't have the swaging tool for it. And I bought a fence tool thinking that that would work, but it just wasn't powerful enough. <laughs> I mean, these things are tough, at least these eighth inch diameter ones. but I'm thinking that should hold pretty good. Now, not that it matters, but it would drive me nuts. I'm just gonna cut this off so it looks nicer. That one's not too bad. Now we're just gonna attach this bolt cleat on here onto the side. I got self-drilling, self-tapping screws for this, but just to make it a little easier, I'm gonna pre-drill this hole. These screws are a little too long. I'm gonna get some shorter screws for attaching these cleats if this ends up working. Now I'll just tie the paracord on here and this will serve two purposes. It'll hold it shut on those bolt cleats when you're filling it. And when you flip this top over, you can just quick tie it to a rung for when you dump it so that top doesn't flip loose. So we'll get it tied on good there. Then you just come around. I cut this one already just because it's gonna be in the way with the uh, of the paracord. I'll cut the rest of these and along the bottom we'll undo these paracords, flip it up and see how this works out. Now this will be a little trickier to do with a tote that's already full of wood but the tractor's up at the property so I can't be moving totes around doing different ones so I just decided to use this one but this job would be way easier if the tote wasn't full and you were modifying an empty tote. But doing it this way will show you if you already have all your totes full of wood and you're going to flip them over to empty them, if this works, it shows you that it can be done while they're full. You can modify your totes and your unloading is going to be so much easier, whether it's burning at home or dumping into a dump trailer. I'm going to cut all the bottom ones first, then we'll go up the sides. All right, here's our last two cuts, and we're going to see if this will hold this one in. <laughs> the 
The bottom held pretty good when I cut all those. Now we're gonna cut these last few that are holding the top and this will maybe move a little bit, but I think we're gonna be good. There it is. The front of this tote is now just held by these cables and the paracord on the bottom. I'm gonna undo it from the bolt cleats. I use the bolt cleats because if you put something with a hook on an empty tote and tightened it, when you fill it, that pressure is gonna make it so you couldn't unhook that hook. So the bolt cleats will take that out of the equation. I'm sure a few pieces will come down, but uh, I think overall we'll be okay. And as far as loading it into a trailer, you could put it over the trailer before you unhook to this. So the pieces that spill, spilled into what you were trying to get it to go in in the first place. The moment of truth. Is it a Christmas miracle or a flop? The Lambo Doors IBC tote. So you can see we filled, spilled a little. But another thing you could do now that I just did that is... If it's on your tractor forks, you could tip it back before you opened it to dump it. Well, John, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> so another thing that I would do in real life if I was using this system, which I am going to be using this system absolutely, I would have emptied this tote from the top until I got to where I couldn't reach anymore, then flip it up. This is stuff I'm going to throw in the home heating box anyway, so it wasn't a big deal. But uh, you can see now, instead of having to reach through the bars, you have easy access to this wood and you can pull it out. If you're at home, like I said, you're going to want to lower it a little before you flip it up. But for dumping into dump trailers, once I get my tractor back, I'll show how that works in some future videos. But I just wanted to try this, see how it was going to work, if it was going to work. And I think it's going to work. So I flipped the front back down after I cleaned that wood out and I took the wood from the top and I got to where it wasn't easy to reach anymore. Then I flipped this tote back up. And now you can see it's so much easier to just grab this wood than it is to reach through the slots or try to stand up on your tippy toes and reach over. And like I said, if you tilt this back on your forks before you open it, it's going to work perfect for that or open it over what you're dumping into. But I think as long as it's tilted back a little bit, you're not going to lose many pieces. So let's finish getting this unloaded. Then I'm going to show you guys how this tote works when it's empty and putting the piece back in, see how tight we can get it. I'm gonna throw some wood back in just to see if it holds at the bottom and see how it works. Now that the tote's empty, I can show you guys how this is gonna work when you're dumping it with your tractor. Like I said, I don't have the tractor here, but we've just got this top just loosely tied to the back, which is going to keep it from flipping shut when you're tipping it to dump. And you can see you'll be able to dump it into your trailer while it's chained to your pallet forks with those Easton made safety chains or whatever method you hold it to your forks. All the wood that was loose tossed or elevator fed into this tote will dump out easily. You'll bring it back down. Doing this by hand, you want to make sure you don't spear your eyeballs out, but on the tractor that won't be an issue. You pull this string. It's untied. Now you can just flip it back down. We'll place it into position. You can see it stayed fairly straight with these drilled into the holes. Then we'll pull it in, put the rope on those clevises, and we'll be ready to refill it. We'll toss the rest of this oak back into it to see how it works, but I think it's going to work sweet. So you're just going to place it back. Then with no wood in here, you're going to take your paracord and pull it pretty tight on this clevis so that it will hold. Figure eight a couple times. It might work better to flatten these out a little bit, but even without doing that, they tuck right into this rail at the bottom, tied on the side, and it should hold pretty good. That worked pretty sweet. I'm not gonna fill this thing all the way back up because this wood was going to the home box anyways, but it's gonna hold, it's gonna work. 
I think I'm gonna do all my totes this way. I still got a little more testing to do, but whether you stack, loose toss, conveyor feed, this will work for any of them. So I personally love this idea. The other day I had to go get wood and it was about a quarter of the way full in this IBC tote. And I had a heck of a time trying to, I was trying to tip it towards me. That wasn't moving. So I got behind and I tried to flip it up while I wasn't reaching down below <laughs> enough. So I got part way and then I couldn't, there was still too heavy. I had to like deadlift it up and struggle. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to have to struggle just to get wood to heat my house. So this idea saves me from having to manhandle an IBC toe. I can just untie that paracord and lift up the Lambo gate. <laughs> I think this will even work if you have the totes that you maybe cut out here and here and cut down a little bit that you now loose throw or conveyor feed because you could just drill this bar on each side, flip the remaining part of the tote up for when you empty it or dump it into the trailer, flip it down and it's still going to work just as good as it did when you were loose tossing it from the original cutout that a lot of people did. So if you've got a bunch of loose thrown toss totes that you are gonna flip over to empty, cut them out, wire them in, tie it back. You don't need those cleats. You could probably just tie this paracord right to the IBC tote and just untie it when you're ready. I just didn't want it to get pulled too tight and become an issue. Ultimately, if it did get too tight, you could cut the paracord, that stuff's cheap. Whatever works for you, this is just an idea. First time I tried it and it's gonna work. So I got the swaging tool and more cable and connectors coming because I think that's going to be the way to go versus wire or rope or something because rope would just get tore up and cut doing this part of it. But on the bottom, I think the paracord will be fine. We're going to be pumping these things full with the new Dyna SC16 processor. Never before been seen. It's their all new 2024 model. Make sure to subscribe to Hardworking Man. Thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. How do you like the Lambo Doors IBC toad? I think it's pretty sweet. Thanks for watching, hardworking man guys. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, and have a great week.